This is a 3D printed version of the Quest 2 Elite strap. It can be tightened, it locks into that size, and then it can be unlocked to uh, loosen it back up. Before the assembly, I just want to show you printing this piece because it's the piece that takes the most filament. You can either print it like this, upside down, and it'll take like 65 grams of filament, or you could print it to the side only with supports from the build plate and that'll only take 45 grams of filament so it'll save you 20 grams of filament um but it's a bit more precarious of a print but i printed it twice and it worked for me so maybe it'll work for you so here's how to assemble it i have here basically all the 3d printed parts the only additional thing we need are four zip ties uh but i have six here because two are optional uh you'll see later what they're for if you want them so the first thing we're going to grab are the handle and the smooth ratchet body Note that there's a smooth ratchet body and a jagged ratchet body. You can see the teeth on it, so uh, make sure to grab the smooth one. So put it on the handle like this, and then we're going to grab the ratchet clicker. It's very important that the ratchet clicker has the correct orientation, so uh, let me show you how to do that. Just grab the jagged ratchet body and put the ratchet clicker in there. The only way that it will fit and turn. If you try the other way, uh, it's just not going to go in at all. So you can either just push the clicker down to pressure stick it on there, or you could glue it. I didn't glue my first one, and it's been fine, but I'm gluing this one. Now just put the jagged one on here, and you're going to want to make sure that you uh, have these two modes based on if you're pulled out or pushed in. In the pushed in mode, it'll click when you turn it, and it'll only turn in one direction. In the pulled out mode, you need to be able to freely turn it in both directions. This is how you loosen it. Next, we'll grab a spur gear and a strap. You basically want to put the spur gear through the strap so that the teeth line up, and then you can roll it across. Uh, this is what's going to be what tightens and loosens things. Now do it again with the teeth on the other side for the other one. And then they just push this into this uh, connection piece here. There's a little circle for where the gear goes and the uh, straps have to fit through the little pegs on the side. Now grab this peg piece uh, with the circle in the middle and the strap guides, these little wings, and it should fit together pretty intuitively like this. Now grab the ratchet piece from earlier and feed the pegs through the holes. Next, you just start feeding zip ties through these zip tie holes. They should go all the way through. Then you just take the back the headrest piece and uh, feed the zip ties through the little connectors here. Tighten up those zip ties, and now let's make sure that it works. Make sure that when you push in and rotate it, uh, it tightens but can't be loosened. And when you uh, pull it out, you are able to loosen it. Tighten it and cut off the excess. Now this is the optional part that uses two more zip ties. You can use them to kind of guide the straps a little bit more. Just don't tighten them too much. Now just snap these onto the side of your Quest 2 and then slide these in. It's pretty straightforward. Take the top strap and feed it into this top strap holder. And that's it. Should work pretty well. The end.